Hey happy bees, it's Amanda and today we're going to make these flamingo cake toppers together. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I made these using modelling paste and I would recommend using modelling paste to make these little guys because it's a lot stronger than fondant. And as usual you can find links in the description for everything that I've used in this tutorial so you can create these at home as well. So I've taken a large ball of my modelling paste and I've dyed it a very pale pink colour. I've rolled it into a teardrop shape and now I'm taking the fatter end of that teardrop and I'm creating a sausage type shape for a neck. This can take a wee bit of time and it can be quite tricky but you just got to work with it until you've got that long neck shape. Then you're going to pinch the narrow side down, that's going to create a tail <laughs> type thing. And you're going to take the neck part and shape it into kind of a heart type shape. You're going to try and imagine the other bird that you've made beside this bird. Flatten down the top part. This is going to be a part of the face. And I decided to take a little bit off the bottom half of our bird. Use a knife to create some indentations to create a feather effect. And now you're going to take some white modelling paste and roll it into a teardrop shape as well. We're going to add some black fondant to the end of that and we're going to just work with it until it goes into a beak type shape. Take a knife and trim that beak if it is a bit big and use your ball tool to create a little hole so that the top part of the face can fit inside nice and neat. I'm using some of our pale pink modelling paste now into a teardrop shape and I'm adding that onto the top. My camera died whenever I was creating eye sockets but it's just a ball till you create a hole and I've added some blue fondant inside. I'm gonna go in with some corally pink edible dust now to create some dimension and shading. I'm going to put some of that just around the beak area and in and around the feathers. And it's amazing the difference the edible dusts can make. They really do make your topper come to life. with a barbecue skewer and I've cut this one to size it's roughly about four or five inches we're going to insert that where the leg is going to go and then we're going to leave our little flamingo to dry overnight so this is the next morning as you can see it's firmed up a lot and it's nice and hard which is the way you want it so what we're going to do now is take some white some of our white modeling paste and roll it into a snake shape you're going to press down that skewer in, inside it. Use some water on your barbecue skewer and that's going to help the modeling paste stick onto the skewer. This bit can be a bit tricky as well so just keep rolling and rolling and you can even trim some excess modeling paste off. You want it to be really really thin. Then you're going to trim off both ends of your barbecue skewer because about an inch of it is going to go inside the cake and then another inch is going to go inside the topper. And we're just going to pull out a little bit in the middle because flamingos, I don't know what that is that they have on their leg but it's like a pointy part. We're going to take some more modelling paste and roll it out to the same thickness that our barbecue skewer was. Cut it roughly the size, just slightly longer because we're going to insert this part inside our flamingo. Fold it over into a V type shape 
And it was at this point I realized I only had one hole, so I had to create another hole. Thank goodness I was able to. So I've brushed some water on both sides of the flamenco's leg and I've inserted one side into the hole, the new hole that we made and the other side I've just stuck on to the bottom part of that leg. Making some additional feathers now for the flamenco's bottom half. <laughs> they do have a really feathery bottom. And if you like Valentine's cake toppers or your stuff for any Valentine's cake up topper ideas, if you click on that link above, that'll take you through to my playlist where you'll find lots of different ideas for Valentine's Day. you enjoyed this tutorial if you do recreate anything of mine i'd love to feature some of your creations in future videos so you can tag me on instagram at happy bee cakes don't forget to subscribe and become part of the happy bee cake community and i'll see you next week bye guys